Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another Nature Walks video. Uh, join me up in the woodland today uh, on a nice sunny day following all the rain that we've had, which is nice. Um, I was just walking along this path uh, and I was actually distracted by a moth that had landed on a leaf. Um, but unfortunately that flew off, um, but it did draw my attention to something else that was on the leaves, which is what I want to show you. So um, this is uh, where I am. This is the path that I'm just walking along. So sort of classic woodland path. Uh, and this is the tree that I'm going to have a look at. And we'll have a look at what the tree is a little bit later because it will be important. Um, but this is what I wanted to show you. So hopefully you can see underneath this leaf is a big cluster of little blobs. So I'll bring you in a little bit closer just so you can have a better look. Now, you probably can't see much detail, um, but you probably do recognize this sort of idea of a collection of insects together like this, green blobs gathered. Uh, this is aphids. So these are aphids that are congregated together uh, and essentially are feeding on the stem of whatever plant this is. So classic of what they do. Now, there are an awful lot of species of aphids, somewhere up to like 600 species, uh, and they are not the easiest to tell apart, partly because a lot of the time they are very, very small and you might need a microscope. Um, but also with that many, you know, there, there's an awful lot of things that can overlap. So how do you go about identifying them? Well, if you're lucky, you might get an adult. And I'm very lucky because there is an adult here. So I'm gonna show you that next. So the ones I've shown you before, so these guys up here, oh, just got another leaf in the way. These guys up here, this is what we would call an early instar. So the way that uh, aphids grow is they grow in these sort of instar stages. Uh, so they molt, getting bigger and bigger, and then as they get bigger, they go into what we call the next instar. So there's, there can be up to like six or seven instars before you get to an adult. But you may have noticed just on the end of the second leaf, the wind will stop blowing is an adult there it is and the adults tend to have wings it's a pretty good idea that you've got a, an adult aphid it's got wings uh, and their body patterns tend to be um, quite decorative actually this one is uh it's got green and black stripes all over its back and a very dark black head um so you won't be able to see that but uh, i promise you that's what it looks like so that is one way that you can go about identifying uh, these aphids, have a look at them. But actually the easiest way is just to look at the plant that they're on because they tend to be quite plant specific. So let's have a look at the plant they're on. So this is the, uh, this is the tree that they're on. So they're on a tree uh, and this is the leaf of the tree. Um, to give you a bit of a size comparison, here's my hand next to it. So it's quite a big leaf. And you'll notice actually it's very similar in sort of shape to my hand, uh, which is a good ID feature. So you'll see it's almost got these fingers coming off. Big lobes is what they call them. So a five fat fingered lobe of a leaf that's quite large. Um, so this is sycamore. This is a sycamore tree. So quite a nice common easy tree to identify. So a quick Google of a uh, of a aphid that you find on the underside of a sycamore leaf and you get one hit straight away the sycamore aphid. So uh, this is a, a good example for me of what I call uh, catchphrase nature, which is essentially where say what you see and there's a good chance that that's what it's gonna be. So aphid on a sycamore, sycamore aphid. So have a look, have a look what you can find underneath uh, leaves. Um, I'll actually show you something else that I've, I've found um, doing exactly the same thing. So if you see that the aphid is just there, well on the neighboring leaf, <coughs> just in the corner uh, is a caterpillar, but I have zero idea what it is at the moment. Not very good on caterpillars, unless they're butterfly ones, they're a bit easier. I think this is probably going to be a moth. But um, probably do, do what I, I suggest to you guys. Have a bit of a Google, caterpillars on sycamore, and see what comes up. Anyway, get out there, see what you can find on the underside of leaves. Bye. 